Hello, hello guys, this is Rafa from Brazil, Shrek it again, thank you very much for watching this video. I do these videos with a lot of happiness because I think they are great for those who are starting the entrepreneurship of being a trader and I absolutely sure that if I have some kind of mentorship, if I have a mentor, when I started, uh, I don't know, in 2017, I would not make the same mistakes that I have been making <laughs> since I started trading. Of course, the most important thing is to learn with your mistakes, and but you can't be 100% guaranteed that you're gonna make lots of mistakes doing your learning curve, and that's okay, right? But of course, if you could avoid some mistakes, it would be way better, and that's why I'm here to try to prevent you to make some mistakes that are just you know newbies mistakes and they're totally uh, understandable but they also can be avoided all right one of them is to rush into a trade right is to do not have the patience do not have the the timing to place the trade correctly right if you have a setup you have a bunch of steps to follow and then you press the button right before you have to adjust your risk management and then you place your trade, right? But when you're starting to trade, we are very anxious about that. We are very, uh, we have some kind of eager to be on the market every moment, to be placing trades. We are almost addicted to it, right? Uh, especially if you are winning, <laughs> but you can be sure that if you're winning doing such a thing it's not going to be for the long run it's not going to be with consistency right you're going to win sometimes you're going to lose more times you're going to win you're going to lose you're going to lose you're going to win so in the longer run you're going to be uh you're going to be vanished from the market you're going to be swept from the market because that's not the natural and the sustained uh, performance that you must to develop on your trading career if you would like to be a professional of course right so i would like to show you one of my biggest mistakes i used to trade i used to trade on the lower time frames because as i would say 80 or 85 percent of you wants to trade on the lower time frames but guys that's not the way to go that's not where the money is where the real money is the real money are on the longer time frames the higher time frames right so uh i wish i could have learned this before i lost a lot of money on the markets because when you see something like this look this AUD cat, that's the first pair I always analyze on my daily routine, right? When it looks something like this, I own the 15 minutes time frame, by the way, you don't have anything clear, right? According to my steps, I don't see anything here. I really don't. Very, very difficult. There is no clear, uh, there is no clear uh, triple cross. We have a very ADX that goes up and down. So markets are trying to adjust itself okay but when we go to the higher time frames we see something like this look a almost across here a very very solid downtrend that you can understand that it is going down maybe it is just a pullback from here right look we don't know but maybe what's going to happen next is something like this okay so you have something much more clear, much more clear. And if you have to take this signal over here, for instance, uh, almost a triple cross here, that's not the perfect triple cross, but you could have to take, you know, from here to here, you would have already 50, 42 pips at max. So this is something that is good for you to understand. You should look for the higher time frames, right? In fact, you must start your routine doing the higher time frames before, right? I understand that it's uh, much more a a matter of being um, like a, a personality. I understand that it's like a personality, but you you must try to follow 
the higher time frames. First of all, because all the indicators, and it's not only the triple cross indicators, all the indicators they need and they perform better, more volume. And we have much more volume on the higher time frames, of course, right? We have much more number of tradings on the higher time frames, right? So the indicators works best, right, on the higher time frames. AUD Chief, look at this. Look at this example here right very clear very clear so if you go to the 15 minutes you'll see something like this right not very nice not very good AOD JPY 15 minutes not very clear right if you jump to the one hour that's the picture you have right clear entries clear entries look you could have taken from here to here 187 pips okay so Look at this one hour AUD USD. If you go to the USD, AUD USD 15 minutes, look, that's the situation you have, no clear trend. But if you are trading on the one hour, look at this beautiful entry you could have taken over here. Another 100 pips in, in, on a very complicated Monday, right? We are recording this at September 26th. So on a very complicated day, we have this kind of approach, right? Look, let's take a look at the majors. Oh my God, look at the Euro USD from here or here. Look, you could have taken an excellent trade. 300 pips, right? But if you go to the 15 minutes, no clear trend at all. Not very clear. That's a good entry here on the 15 minutes, but, right? Good entry. But look, last pips. Much less pips, okay? GBP USD, another major. Look, 15 minutes. Okay, good entries over here. Look, good entries, good entries. You could have exited right here. Right, 500 pips. Impressive, right? Yeah, but look at this. Do you want to be impressed? Look at this. Look how accurate it was. 936 pips. In a matter of five days, my friends. <laughs> Five days, and we are talking about two days on the weekend. So, the real money is on the higher time frames. Why is that? Because the indicators works better, right? They perform better on the higher time frames. So keep that in mind when you try to trade. When you start your routine, keep that in mind. Look, in a matter of 15 minutes, I could have you know, book some pips, but look, in a matter of hours, you trade with much more, uh, with much more confidence. You are much more comfortable doing that, and you're gonna be much, much better. So take a look at that. Let's try to change from being a scalper to being a swinger. I hundred and hundred percent guarantee that you're gonna be much, much more happier. Right. That's it, guys. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to make part of our family, of course, we have a group. We have a inner circle group where I send signals, when I send live sessions. And of course, we can talk to each other. If you need a mentorship, a guide, you of course, you for, if you join the group, you have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship for free, right? So the link to the, is on the description area. Don't waste your time anymore. The system is free. The mentorship, it's absolutely free for joining a group. So don't waste your time anymore, right? Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.